that to, you know, if I pack the post in the grip. <laughs> if, I, if I suddenly cut out this evening, that, that, that's the reason. If I suddenly just go, yeah! But there's nothing that can be done. I've already applied to it and every other bloody thing I can think of, so. Tough shit. <laughs> so what do they usually do here? They usually don't hold concerts, I would take it. PowerPoint presentations? PowerPoint <laughs> going on here. It would, it would seem a weird place to hold a lecture. Unless, of course, the professor was an egomaniac, but... And he needed a stage this size for his PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it then. Eh? <laughs> I mean, there's little windows to that too, so obviously there's like, you know, projectability and... Did I say projector? <laughs> mm -hmm. Projection? Maybe not, because there's glass. Maybe he actually needs like his own, own sound team, him or her, you know, for that PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Like Al Gore needs that thing that goes all the way up for a minute. I wonder if that thing's powered by some kind of biofuel. <laughs> that crane he uses. You know? Because you could use a ladder, man. That would be far more environmentally friendly. difficult to do in a three-piece suit, but it would be environmentally friendly. I don't know, though. I guess then you'd have to take into account, is it made of metal? Is it made of wood? So there's fucking no winning. There's no winning. Maybe. I don't know. Unless we all just run around naked and shit and talk wooden, talk wooden spears and my heart members would fucking thin out then, huh? You got, I mean, you got to, you, you pretty much got to take into account the fact that the human pop, the population of the planet, pardon me, was, was what it was back in the time when we actually had to literally fend for ourselves. Instead of now when we're all just pussies. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Most, you know, our entire continent goes to the grocery store for the most part, you know, except for those people who can't afford, who, who, who beg outside of grocery stores. But, uh, you know, I mean, you know, you don't ever have to kill anything. You don't have to kill a chicken and eat it for dinner. You know, you don't have to kill a cow for the beef. You don't even have to know how to fucking clean a cow. Maybe you know how to clean a fish because you go fishing, but that's just for recreation. <laughs> but you don't really know how to, you know, you don't have to do anything. I guess you can grow your own vegetables in your own garden, but let's face it, do you do that all year round? And if you do, maybe you should get a little pride. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a kinder surprise. <laughs> Maybe you get some chocolate and a nice little corn inside. Maybe that will kind of fun. You can eat your vegetables, have a little kid surprise. Sit there all smug. <laughs> Fuck you. Now, we were talking about this the other day, though. It's, just, it, it's kind of incredible to think, really. The population of the planet would be. By 2020, we'll be like increased by like what another 30 percent or something like that. There's like nine billion people on the planet, and of course, right now the Earth can can sustain itself. Like the, we 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 actually consume 30 percent more than the, the Earth can actually physically, you know, <laughs> make sense, sustain whatever you want to say. I blame it all, and I have been saying this for weeks. So I blame it all on Ted Nugent. <laughs> Ted Nugent is a leading example of what's wrong with, with our world. You see, Ted Nugent hunts bears. With, yeah, of course, right? With machine guns or whatever the fuck else, rocket launchers. Maybe one day he's too fucking lazy and he's just sitting at home, he just launches some kind of missile. What the fuck does Ted Nugent care? 
obviously a constitutional, you know, a constitutional uh, professor, or at least a constitutional lawyer, hasn't sat down and actually explained him what the Fourth Amendment of the United States, of the Constitution of the United States, actually represents. So I guess you think it's applicable to shooting bears. I'd kind of like to see just him go a mono a mono <laughs> with a bear. I'd take good money, actually, to see him get ripped limb from limb <laughs> by a Kodiak. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Ted? <laughs> what, what, what's the matter? You don't have a gun. I'd help you up, buddy, but I just, the only thing I have on me is Kinder Surprises. <laughs> wow, well, I grow my own vegetables now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this next song to Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Sam Laurent. <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> <laughs> 